Father? What am I doing in here? Over here. Over here. What's that? No. No! Get me out of here. Brother. What is this? Help me! I'm trying! Brother! Please! Do not panic. We will simply return to the gate. I don't think so. I think you've broken how Valhalla works. Oh, I think this is it, brother. Let's get you out of here. Sigrun. Bob, you're burning. I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, Kari, Shaito! Look at you. You shouldn't have done that. Oh, heal, dummy. You and Kratos would not. But you're safe now. Sigrun, I'm sorry. I've been so foolish. I... Later, love. <laughs> I need a moment. As I will be forever in yours. <clears throat> oh, I still can't bear the thought of Sigrun having damaged herself to save us. Or having damaged her connection to Valhalla, which she'd doubtless say was worse. Will there be consequences beyond her injuries? I don't suppose I can be sure of that either way. But I'm certainly going to begin worrying about it now. Thank you kindly. Do you yet wish to speak about Sigrun? She was eager to receive you mere days ago. What has changed? Oh, don't pretend to be interested in my romantic life, brother. I am interested. And you are evading the question. What happened? Well, after you dropped me off at a longhouse the other night, Sigrun made a cowberry and hazelnut pudding. Of course, I don't eat anymore, so slightly awkward, but a lovely thought. And? Pretty much it, really. Hmm. There is more to this. What else are you and Sigrun? Well, we stayed up much too late. I told her stories, she told me secrets. She put spirits to my lips, even though I can't get drunk. Then she invited me to watch her fall asleep. Hmm. And the next morning? The next morning we took a boat along the Lake of Nine. It was divine, brother. The lake was sun-dappled and the air was crisp and perfect. You could smell the thaw. When did you speak? You know me too well, brother. We were on the lake when I put my metaphorical foot in it. Hmm. Well, tell me, what happened between you and Sigrun on the lake? Well, she was rowing past where you found her family treasury. Where we learned she cursed her brother over forbidden love. That's right. And as we rowed by, I remember feeling grateful that the place was now deep underwater and see it. And at that moment, she turned to me and she said, I think, Mimir, I might be smitten with you. I think maybe I want to kiss you. Hmm. Mm, indeed, brother. I mean, there's always been more to us than there's been the opportunity to explore. So much unspoken beneath the surface. But hard to name it so boldly, uh, it took me a bit off guard. You and Sigrun, I am still waiting for the part where you spoke. 
In my defence, I only told her the truth as it struck me in the moment. I told her my feelings for her were deep as Rand's Hall and had been for as long as I'd known her. But just then a kind of revelation came over me. A sudden cold clarity that it was vanity to imagine that I, as I am, could be enough for her as she is. So I heard myself tell her that I didn't think I could give her what she needed. Now, I am mad at you. Pile on, brother. I deserve it. So, you told Sigrun you could not give her what she needed. You spoke out of cowardice. Aye, obviously. But as bets for terror go, can you imagine knowing all along you're not enough for someone? And then living out their slow realization of that truth? I admit it chilled me to the bone. To know how she will feel in the future. I discredit her wishes and yours in the present. I just can't pretend not to know better. She's romanticized the idea of us. Certainly I've done the same. But is that anything to build a future on? I mean, look at me, brother. Be practical. Hmm. If anyone else disparaged you as you disparaged yourself, I would wish to strike them with an axe. Now, back to Siegmund and your low opinion of yourself. Look, brother. I don't apologize for wanting her to have someone who can be everything to her. She deserves the best. Then why should she not deserve the smartest man alive? Sometimes I think you've come too far, brother. Did I overstep? No, no, Kratos. I appreciate your point. And to be fair, if I was so right, then why am I so angry at myself? 